Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, which is word truth and sincerely. Shalom to the occupants that have the four points of the globe, which is word truth and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the occupant that be like off to the speckled bird, which is word truth and sincerely. And this is a, a quick sit down lesson on this March 19th. Uh, 2022 on this uh, Saturday afternoon and the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is you know uh, second woe is past behold third woe coming quickly and we are in those times of uh, World War 3 is right at the doorstep as we see in all these events take place on the planet Earth today, you know, modern day. And this is a news article right here. It's a A L B A W A B A uh, dot com. This was uh, in the uh, Salak Yemen say the highlight of this news article, and it reads. Uh, 40,000 Syrian troops join the Russian army to fight in the Ukraine war. Even though this is like, a, you know, we heard news from this like last week. Now going into this week, you know, I believe they uh, uh, are already being deployed over there, you know. And the uh, article reads, uh, reports are coming in that uh, able body Arab misses because Arabs is a mixed multitude, you know, they had Ishmael, according to the biblical scriptures, are regist registering to fight on the side of Russia and Ukraine. It says they are preparing to go to war in front. It says uh, Russia recruit thousands of Syrians to fight in Syria, I mean, in Ukraine, the Syrian obs Observatory for Human Rights. It says Russia recruits thousands of Syrians to fight in Ukraine. It says social media reports, I mean, social media platforms are carrying the news thick and fast. More than 40,000 Syrians are enlisting to fight in the uh, Russia's war in the Ukraine that they are stand by by some have already left. You know, and this goes into the increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars as well, too. You know, it's not going to be all out real quick, very fast, World War Three. Because you know, you know, your Alba Shimel Shah, you know, he uh, he does these things. He put these things into motion, you know. And uh, it says the piece of the news information is being provided by the Syria Observatory for Human Rights, which is the S O H R, which have been monitoring the bloody war in Syria since started in 2011, right? Because you still got tensions going on over there in Syria as well, too. And you got uh, Russia uh, military artillery over there as well, too. They got uh, Russian fighter jets flying over there in Syria as well, too, you know? So you got uh, commotion and tensions, which is more like related, still going on in that region over there as well, too. And uh, it says Y-40,000 Syrian sign up to fight for Russia and Ukraine. It says the Syrian Observatory says the first of arrival are already on the Ukraine border and set to actively join the war. The part of Russia, it adds, these are not uh, voluntary, have been promised a salary. Salaki. <laughs> And continuing on, it says the directory of the UK based monitor is performing the piece of news. He implied the 40,000 figure is just the beginning, and more fighters are likely uh, to enlist on the side of the Russians in the long, longer uh, the war is going on. It says the officer. The observatory reported that the enlist fighters are being promised a monthly salary of $1,100 to partake in the fight in Ukraine. So yeah, you know, that goes back into the uh, War 
Romans and Romans awards, you know, and I'm gonna bring out that scripture as well too. So you're gonna see the increase of these tensions amount of these other nations. You know, you might have nation that's allies that click up with them to join the uh, current tensions, what's going on in that region, you know? And these are the times that we're living in. The increase of uh, the wars and women's and wars, second world has passed, we hold the third world coming quickly. And I'm bringing out the scripture of the increase, you know, of the wars and women's and wars, you know? And a lot of these wars are gonna start to come in reality, you know? Even though it's gonna be a lot of rumors in the news as well too, that's a uh, rumor of a war related. And some of them is coming to pass as being a reality of wars and wars. And this is a scripture that I'm about to bring out. This is the book of uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors and wars. Say that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, right? Because all these things need to come to pass. Because you know, the man of the Lord is going to know these things, and we continue to uh, grow in the truth and know these things before it happens, you know? Because this was written before our time, you know? A long time ago, and it's starting to, to show itself, you know? For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, right? Because the end is not yet. Because more prophecies still need to come to pass as well, too. Because, you know, this uh, current situation over there in Ukraine is not the end of all wars. You know, it's more still to come. You know, because we are working on the cycle of Yahweh Hashem al -Shai. You know, he runs the show. He could control things, you know. He slowed tensions down and he stirred back up, you know. And verse 7 in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, it reads, For a nation shall rise against nation. We're seeing that right now, as I brought that news article out, and other parts around the world too, that's war type related. And uh, for a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And uh, verse eight, and these are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because these are the uh, beginning stages in the foot store processes of uh, beginning of sorrows as it's starting to increase on the planet earth you know you know just like the upwards of the people uh nations arise against nation kingdom against kingdom uh earthquakes in diverse places and i did previous videos on that recently with the earthquakes in uh, algeria uh those two earthquakes uh over there in japan you know 7.4 and a 5.5 magnitude of earthquakes you know these are many different signs of the times that we are currently living in, you know, and it's going to continue to increase because these are the uh, beginning of our worlds, you know. You know, in that uh, digital currency, you know, the all-out digital currency that's going to come into full effect right along with the uh, World War III. And it's going right, to be right alongside with it, you know, because we are getting to those stages of that, you know. And these are the beginning of our worlds because you're going to see more a lot of more events uh, coming on the planet Earth because these are biblical prophecies as we're seeing it right before in our eyes, you know. And I'm bring out that Revelation uh, 11 to 14 to close out this uh, quick sit down lesson for today on the Saturday afternoon. Even though this same article that I just brought out yesterday, I mean last week I did a sit down lesson on it. Now we're starting to increase of those uh, able, able body uh, Ishmaelites ready to fight alongside with those uh, Edom, Idumian Russians over there, you know, which is, uh, I believe it's in the fourth or fifth week of those uh, wars going on over there in Ukraine, you know. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14, and it reads, The second world is past, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Right? The third world coming quickly. And we are seeing the stages, you know, in the beginning stages of that. And it's going to increase, you know, right along with the MOTB, with the digital currency, you know. Because uh, the dollar, the paper dollar, it's not going to, it ain't going to be no more value. 
just like uh, I believe that that brother uh, GMS uh, Watchman, that brother over there, you know, he did a video um, about you know those uh, Jamaicans over there. They did they uh, they're starting to the implement and they starting the beginning stages of uh, that digital currency, you know. So you know that's coming to pass as well too, and we're starting to see the steps and process of that. Everything is going to be uh, full all out digital currency, you know, because even though we're, you know, digital currency is already here, but once it's be fully implemented, you know, that's when that Revelations 13 and verse 16 through 17 verse comes in, you know, and it's going to be that hour of temptation as well, too. If you uh, down with this Idumian system, this agenda, this propaganda, you know, in order to buy or sell, you know, you got to have that stuff implemented in your body. You know, that's going to be uh, another prophecy that's be coming as well, too. going to be coming to pass, you know. And uh, so with that, you know, I hope this uh, quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hallelujah, Yahushua. And first and foremost, I like, give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Karkadash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's Word, truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say, shout out